Hey friends, welcome back to Bubbly Balloon Co. My name is Rachel and in this video I'm going to be unboxing and setting up for you guys a circular frame, a round arch that you can use for balloons, florals, all sorts of backdrops for different events. And of course the link for the exact frame I'm using here, which you can get on Amazon, is in the video description below. Let's jump right in! Alright, let's open this sucker up. So I've got my, uh, my little straight razor here so satisfying. Okay, I wasn't sure once I opened the Amazon box what to expect, but it has its own neat little box here, very well contained. This is supposed to be 7.2 feet across when fully assembled, so for something that large to fit in a box this small, it's pretty impressive. Let's open it up and see what we got. So this actually comes with all sorts of stuff in here. Please, we've got things to tie the balloons with. These look like water weights to hold down the frame circular things to attach your balloons to on the frame if you want to do that route. A bunch of strips to make your garland with if you choose to do that. Even balloon glue dots if you want to use those to put your little extras on. Some ribbon to use for attaching if you want to. And then the actual parts themselves. All right, so all in all, it came with six identical arched pieces just like this. Two specialized arch pieces that like kind of link and connect into the actual base here, all right, like so. Two water bags that you fill with water and then you go ahead and place it over this T-frame here so it helps weigh it down and hold it in place. And then they've included a whole bunch of other stuff. Little rings to put your balloons into, strips to create your garland out of, ribbon to tie it in, balloon glue dots to use to attach your extras to, even tying tools to help keep your fingers from getting sore when you're tying all those balloons together. Now in this video, I'm just gonna be showing you how to set up the arch itself. This is not gonna be the tutorial on how to actually make a creation on the circular frame. If you wanna see that, that is in a separate video. I will link it here so you can check that out if you'd like. I also have a separate tutorial on how to use strips like this to create a cute balloon garland. So if you're looking to find that out, check out that tutorial here. Honestly, for my preferred method on how to make a balloon creation, how to make balloon garlands on a circular frame like this, I don't actually need any of that stuff, but it's really cool that they include it in there for, especially for like brand new people, beginners. It makes it a lot less intimidating when you have just like kind of easy to follow directions with it. So props to the company, kudos to them for that. Full disclosure, this frame was sent to me for PR purposes. So while I've not spent my own money on it, I will of course be giving you my honest feedback, first impressions with the unboxing, actually setting it up and putting it to the test. All right, so all the identical pieces, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the stickers off of them now so it's easier out of the way and I don't have to worry about it once the frame's actually up. Who knows, you know, how difficult some of these will be to get to. All right, so at this point, we're gonna go ahead and lay this out, lay all the pieces out, create that circle shape we're looking for, start attaching the pieces together and fixing them in place with the little nuts and the little wrench that was included. Now it does recommend doing this stuff on the floor, but because I have a large work table here, I'm gonna go ahead and make it on the table as best I can, and then I'll transfer it all to the floor to do the final install and assembly. Now I'm starting with the actual base of it, the parts that are gonna click into that T-frame. And now on these, there's parts B and C. They are different and it does matter which way you do it because we want that, like that nut, that screw to be hidden on the backside of the frame. So just pay attention to the order in which it goes, but so far, pretty easy. All right, so this here is the base of the frame, you guys. This is pretty giant. It's gonna be over seven feet wide when installed. It's pretty massive. All right, now that I've got the base unit here, I can go around and just add on a piece at a time, just like this, attach it with a little nut here, tighten it with the little wrench that was included. All right, and just keep going around in a circle till it's all done. All 
All right, so we've got the circular frame fully assembled now. It is over seven feet tall, seven feet wide. This thing is freaking huge. So the next thing to do is fill up our water bags and put them on top of these T-frames to weight them in place. I honestly don't know if you need to do that or not. I'm gonna do it because that's what the instructions say to do. Whether or not I do that on future installs, you'll see in those videos, I guess. <laughs> All right, you always wanna make sure your seal here is super secure. Now, if you see on the bottom, there's a hole where we're gonna put that, that stand of the, of the teeth stand through, the leg there. But you can see there's a cross section here that needs to be punctured, which sounds really scary when you're talking about a water bag. But obviously this is where the stand needs to go through. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here, just gently, very gently, always, safety third, friends, always. Be careful when you're using this kind of stuff legal mumbo jumbo insert warning here okay just gently ever so gently start that off there all we did was start that so the leg will go ahead and push that through just like that all right friends i'm sure this part is easier with two people i'm going to try and manage it by myself let's see how it goes so i'm going to go ahead and take this stand here position it somewhat under the circular frame Try and do my best here to get that positioned in there. Using this water bag as a weight on top to hold it in place. Do the same thing on the other side and then we will connect it all with the final nuts. I had to tag to my husband and help me screw in two of those last nuts I couldn't get on my own. But look at this beauty. It was actually pretty easy. It took me like 20 or 30 minutes to get this put together on my own with a little help on those two last nuts. Now, believe it or not, this wouldn't be too much of a hassle to set up on site, do your balloon creation with, and then to break it down at the end of the party, bring it back. You could use it as a rental, make some extra money on it. So yeah, this is pretty easy to set up, beautiful in person. And I can't wait to use it for you guys in some creations. Thanks to the company for sending one out to me for PR purposes. I had a lot of fun unboxing, putting it together, getting to play with a little bit hands-on. Can't wait to do creations with it. And again, the link for this specific one, which you can get on Amazon, is in the video description down below. Now, if you wanna see me make a balloon creation with this, then check out that video here. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.